Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a hair video. It's going to be like a hair tutorials video. A lot of people ask me how I do my bun, so I'm going to be doing that. So, first off, I'm going to show you guys like basic things I need. You need a hairbrush. This is my ratchet one from Ulta. It was supposed to like, it's so crusty right there. Like, ooh. But it's supposed to like help your hair grow because it has like little nubs. And then go on your hair and you're like, ah. Yeah, so and then I have a hair tie and what I recommend for people who either dye their hair blonde or have natural hair That's blonde is use like a blonde hair tie if you have brown hair use brown hair ties If you have black hair use black hair ties if you have like orange hair use orange hair ties You know what I mean? Just do it. Even if you look if you dye your hair like purple or something use purple hair ties it just it blends it looks cool you know so that's one of my little tips so the first thing first thing i'm just gonna do the button and show you like what it looks like while i'm doing it and then i'm gonna take it step by step i do this like every single day because i have like zero time to get ready ever and usually my hair is not straight when i do this i'm baby doggy so usually it does not look this put together So that's how cool it is. Like it doesn't relax it, and then I like fix it when I get to school. But it looks different because it's like straightened. But yeah. Okay, now I'll show you guys like step by step how to do it. Yeah, it's just really easy to do, like out of the door, and like it still looks good, and you get a whole ton of compliments. Okay. So first, you're gonna flip your hair over your head. You're gonna bring all of it, just form it to your head and create a ponytail on the top of your head. So like a high ponytail. This is also a very cute thing. And you just take the little baby hairs out and then you look like a little cutie. Okay. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna twist. Your fingers are gonna be like that circled around the ponytail and you're gonna twist your hair around your fingers you're gonna bring this hand to here and you kind of go back and forth with hands basically and you just keep on twisting and twisting and twisting until voila and then you're gonna take your ponytail and wrap it around your hair and basically you want it to like look messy don't exactly want it to look like a ballerina bun unless that's the look you're going for then voila you got your ballerina bun but if you want it to look like relaxed like i do usually because usually i'm not and then i pull out like these little baby hairs so it just looks more relaxed cute pull up those hairs and honestly I think it looks adorable like that's the finished look and my next next one I'm gonna be doing is a half up half down so what you're gonna do is have all your hair like this and the comb is honestly like not fully necessary like I never use a brush unless my hair is like really ratted up but you know and then I just section my hair, and you're just basically making a mini little ponytail. But you want to see. Okay, so you're going to look for where that line is in your hair, where it naturally is sectioned. And then you're going to use the brush to comb it up. Usually I'm like running out of time, so I don't use the brush. It's like, I have no time ever. And you're just going to loop it around like a regular ponytail. Also, let me know if you guys want me to do an eyebrow tutorial on how I do my eyebrows. Or if you want to see how I do this makeup look. And I'm very sorry for how my lashes are acting up today. And my lips look like the mom from Mean Girls. It's disgusting. But, like, I just like 
this lip color but then i feel like with the hair color and all the makeup on it makes me look like i got like plastic surgery and it's kind of disgusting but you're just gonna find that side part where your hair naturally parts you're gonna put that behind your ear and then you're just gonna go about it like a normal braid and i think these honestly are so simple and adorable like they look adorable and tomorrow I go back to school usually I'd be stressed but all I really have is like tests and stuff and then after that I could go home and then I have more tests the next day and then after that I gotta go home and then we have a day to relax at home and then we have Thanksgiving we get to sit down and be thankful and I love it and then the next day is Black Friday. Okay, I forgot to explain what I'm doing. So I'm going to be parting my hair into three sections. And I'm going to be taking this middle piece and looping it over the back piece. And then I'm going to be taking, this is like an inside out braid almost. And then I'm going to be taking this front piece, putting it behind the back piece. And then I'm going to be taking the middle piece once again. This was the middle piece originally. And I'm going to be putting it behind the back piece, which, yeah, this might get confusing. But, you know, what you're going to be doing is following it out with a, a normal braid. Hopefully, y'all understand what I'm saying and everything. Because if not, that would be good with anything. And then you're just going to make it looser. And once again, let me know down below what kind of videos you guys would like to see next. And thanks for watching. Oh, no, not thanks for watching, not yet. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below what you guys want my next video to be. And if you like this video, if you didn't, you can let me know, like, girl, don't do hair tutorials, you suck. But hopefully say it a little nicer, hopefully, I mean, yeah, have a good day, and you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you're worth it. And I hope you know that. And see you later, gators. Peace.